Twenty-nine people killed, over 50,000 have been left homeless, but there seems to be no end to the flood fury in Kerala. Ten teams of the NDRF are now involved in relief operations. The Coast Guard and all the three defence forces have been roped in for relief efforts. Twenty-nine dead, over 30,000 have now been evacuated from different parts of Kerala. Schools and colleges are shut in Kochi, Wayanad, Idiki, Ennakulam and Patanam, Thitta and Kottayam, which are the worst affected areas. There are reports that electricity supply to these areas have also been disrupted. The Army, Navy and the Coast Guard has been deployed to help rescue and evacuate people. Home Minister Rajnath Singh spoke to Kerala Chief Minister and promised all necessary help. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Pinyari Vijayan is conducting an aerial visit of the affected areas. The United States has also issued an advisory to its citizens visiting Kerala. And for the first time in history, all the five floodgates of the Idiki Reservoir were opened yesterday. My colleague Sneha Mary Koshi sent us this report from Idiki Reservoir. For the first time in Kerala, the five shutters of Cheridoni Dam, the only opening for the Idiki Reservoir, have been opened. <laughs> With the water flowing out at an intensity of 6 lakhs per second, fresh alerts have been issued to people to stay away from the banks of Periyar River, inundating roads and bridges in low-lying areas. To give you a sense that what does the intensity of this water flow mean on the ground, this was a bridge that NDTV crossed in the morning. It connects east and west Cheritoni, but now remains absolutely out of bound, inaccessible after it has been inundated. That is the kind of intensity we are talking about and that's why people from low-lying areas have been evacuated. Shops at the banks of such uh, water courses have been asked to close down. In Idiki's Muna district, over 54 tourists were stranded in a resort since Thursday late night with 22 foreigners due to landslides. All evacuated on Friday after army and revenue officials worked through the rubble for around seven hours. The situation in Idiki is under control. Uh, there is not, nothing much to panic about the situation uh, because, as you know, uh, the rains have been heavy for the last two, three days. The water level is continuously rising. Now the water level is 2,401.6 feet. So, as so of now, we have to drain all this water. Our subcollector had an, uh, uh, what do you say, video calling with uh, some of the embassies to ensure that all these people are uh, having a uh, proper time in Muna. Rescue operations by the NDRF and all three defense forces have been ongoing in Kochi, Malapuram, Korikot, Vainad. Schools and colleges remain shut in at least seven districts. Nearly 20,000 people have been evacuated from different parts of Kerala, around 9,000 from rural Ernakulam itself. We have put in as many helicopters as demanded by the state machinery for the flood relief. We have picked up the entire NDRF team from wherever they were towards Calicut yesterday and then moved them to the affected area along with the collector. In an unprecedented manner, the shutters to 24 dams across Kerala have been opened. There's a forecast for heavy rainfall in most districts of the state. This is also a stark reminder to us for what we have done to the nature encroaching upon the course of rivers. With camera person SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for Indie TV.